Okay, let's just jump right into it, shall we? First, I'm going to pin back my hair because I hate having hair in my face. And then I'm going to prime my face using the Benefit Professional. I have this little bitty baby size and it's so cute. I'll just pat that into the skin instead of rubbing. And then we're on to concealing. I'm using a green concealer from Maybelline and just covering up any blemishes or areas that I get red. I tend to get red on my cheeks for some reason, so I'm just going to put some concealer there and then blend it all together with my finger. Taking the L'Oreal Magic BB Cream in the color Anti-Fatigue, I'm going to dot this under my eyes to conceal my dark circles. And after I did all of that, I realized that I meant to start on my eyes, so I'm going to prime them with the Wet n Wild Stay All Day Eyeshadow Primer. This is my favorite primer, and in my opinion, I don't think any primer that I've tried beats it. Um, so just ignore the green on my face because I meant to do that later. Now I am taking the color Naked from the Urban Decay 1 palette and I am just using that to set the primer to make sure none, none of the other eyeshadow sticks. Then taking the color Buck from the same Naked palette, I'm going to run that along my crease in circular motions and just messily blend that out. Then taking the color Healing Moon from the Kat Von D Interstellar Eyeshadow Palette. I will go over everything I just did, but I'll also take it in the inner corner of my eye. The only space I want to leave blank is the center of the eyelid. Then taking the color Indu from the Urban Decay Shadow Box palette, I just pack that onto the center of the lid and then I'll eventually blend it into the brown. I It wasn't green enough for me, it was a little too blue, so I will go in with a different eyeshadow later. Taking Lost from that same palette, I'm just going to blend the green and the browns together using this color. Because the brown wasn't picking up quite like I wanted it to, I'm going in with Astrological from the Interstellar palette and deepening everything up. infallible eyeshadow in golden emerald I am just going to use my finger and rub that onto the center of the lid um, just to give it more of a green appearance I've used these eyeshadows before and I love them however this one doesn't quite have the sheen or like the pickup that the other ones do I still like it it's just like a different formula but it worked for this look there, I was just taking a clean fluffy brush and blending everything out. And then I'm going to pick up some more of the infallible eyeshadow and just touch everything up. And I'll continually to touch up this color because I really wanted the green to show through. Then I'm just taking a makeup removing wipe and I'll just clean up the edges. 
And this is a good little trick if you don't want to use tape on your eyes while you're doing your eyeshadow or you just forgot like I did. Then I'm going to take a drink really quickly and get my favorite foundation which is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I finally got a color that's light enough because I've only had it in a really dark tan shade for when I'm in the summer. I really like this formula. Um, it's a moussey consistency and I'll just take a buffing brush here and we'll stipple it all out and blend it together. Um, I like matte foundations because I am oily so at the end of the day when my oil starts to break through I'm not quite as oily as I would be with a normal foundation. Then I'm going to take a beauty blender just to even everything out and make sure it's nice and flawless. Using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer, I'm just going to conceal my eyes in the triangular motion, and then I'll take some of that and put it on my chin, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow to highlight. I'm using the e.l.f. under eye setting powder just to make sure that that concealer stays there all day and won't crease on me. I like to use a lot of powder to start off with and at the end I'll blend it all away. And then I did my brows off camera because ain't nobody got time for that. Then I'm taking Subconscious. No, that's not right. I'm taking the color Shadow Play from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette to bronze up the face, and then I'm taking Subconscious to actually contour. I'm going in first with a tapered detail brush that I like to use to like have a harsh contour, and then later I will take a brush and blend that out. taking subconscious to contour my nose. You don't have to contour your nose, you don't have to contour at all, you do whatever you want to do. This is just what I like. Then I'm mixing Lyric and Levitation from the shadow palette and I'm going to bake. What we're baking does, it just really cleans up that contour and so you get a lot of powder and you set it right under the contour line and you just let it sit there for as long as you want and at the end you'll blend it away. Then I'm taking, um, I don't know what color this is but it's a Milani blush. Any Milani blush is like really good. And then I'm also going to do a small wing. I'm not taking that all the way in. But I, you can do a dramatic wing, I just wanted to do a slight one because I wanted that sparkly eyeshadow to show through. Taking Buck from the Urban Decay Naked palette, I'm just going to run that on my lower lash line to give it some dimension, and then I'll go back over it with Astrological from the Kat Von D palette, and I wanted to make sure to get it in the inner corner as well because I'm not going to have a bright inner corner highlight like I normally would do. Then I'm taking this Bella White eyeshadow from Milani, and I lost the clip showing me highlight my brow bone, but that's what I used that for. And then I'm taking L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Waterproof because for some reason I hate the one that isn't waterproof, but I love the waterproof version. So that's what I'm using here to prep for lashes. I'm using the Ardell Glamour 105s and lashes are on because I also lost those clips as well of me putting on my lashes. Then I'm taking just a red lip liner. This is just one from Ulta that I use. I have to line my lips when I'm putting on a liquid lipstick because to me it's just really hard if I don't line my lips. So that's what I'm doing here is putting on the NYX liquid lipstick in Monte Carlo. 
This is by far one of my favorite reds. It's probably what you've seen me use in like all the videos where I have red lips on is NYX Monte Carlo. But it's just the best and I love the formula. Then I'm taking Benefit's What's Up Highlighting Stick and I recently found this and it fell in love. So I'm blending that out and then spraying my face with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and I'll blend that all together with my Beauty Blender. I find that this just sets everything in and that is this makeup look. Thanks for watching guys! That's all I have for this holiday makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.